Yo, what plant is that? What plant is hey, that? What plant is that's that? That's a pretty flower. What plant is that? G? What? What is that? That's neat. Greetings. Today here we have fleabane called common fleabane, daisy fleabane, or most notably Philadelphia fleabane. Scientific name Erigeron philadelphicus. This plant is native to North America and can be found in nearly all of the United States and even throughout Canada. As you will see, it has a yellow center for the flower with white petals that are very thin that run along the outside of it, possibly 30 to 50 of them. And there are various varieties of fleabane, some which have very skinny leaves that are similar to pine needles and you may spot it because the flower is almost exactly alike. There are some sources that say only some varieties of fleabane contain the insecticide pyrethrum while other varieties do not. But if you should happen to chew this particular flower, this Philadelphia fleabane, for about 30 seconds, it does seem to have a strong repellent flavor. Like it would even repel you from swallowing it. And that comes through in a sharp chemical type taste. As previously stated, this plant has a strong chemical taste and therefore is more suited to the medicinal side when needed rather than the edible side. In fact, it certainly would not be my first choice, neither would it be my second to last choice as a food. The Cherokee and other neighboring Tribes use the Philadelphia fleabane for many ailments, including epilepsy. A poultice was made from the plant to treat headaches. The roots were made into a tea and chewed to treat colds and coughs. The smoke from the incense made from this plant was inhaled for head colds. And also, this plant was dried, powdered, and snorted for head colds. Mixed with other herbs to treat headaches and inflammation of the nose and throat, whether by inhaling or drinking it as a tea. The tea for the whole plant is used to break fevers. The plant is also boiled and mixed with fat to make an ointment for skin sores. And it was also treat, used to treat eye issues, which were called dimness of sight. This plant being astringent and diuretic, it was also used for gout and to aid the kidneys, especially in cases of gravel, also known as kidney stones. The Huma tribe boiled the roots for a drink for menstruation troubles and to induce miscarriages, and they would do that in the treatment of suppressed or stagnant menstruation, used also for hemorrhages and for spitting of blood. The Catawba made a drink for heart trouble, out of this Philadelphia fleabane. Now, there is a debate as to whether it will repel fleas or other insects or not, and that is mainly dependent on the insecticide being present within it. Though some people with sensitive, very highly reactive skin have been known to get contact dermatitis from handling this plant. If you are familiar with any of the other plants of the aster family that you may have a certain reaction to, like contact dermatitis, then you may want to be wary of this one as it is also in the aster family. And that is common fleabane, Philadelphia fleabane, daisy fleabane. Peace. If you have any existing health concerns, take that into consideration. If you are taking any medications at this time, take that into consideration and allow a two to three hour window before consuming plants medicinally. Do not take anything that you are not sure of or that you have not properly identified. If you have any further concerns, do not consume the plant. If you would like to know what other medical implications may come about from going back to a more natural life, to a more traditional lifestyle, after you have properly identified and know the uses of plants thoroughly and you are still concerned, of course, consult your local drug dealing doctor.